New game. English, please. I don't speak the other kanjis. The story's work of fiction. Who'd have guessed? Right? I'm I'm flabbergasted. I'm shookums on that chat. <coughs> oh god, Umbrella's up to it again, chat. Umbrella's back at it. You could use this. I could. Thank you for that support. Much appreciate it. Is this really an umbrella cold open? Are we are we really doing umbrella? I don't know, this is like There's literally umbrella umbrellas in the background, bro. Is this game about zombies? Alright, well that's a cold open. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. To be honest. Alright. <coughs> Day one, Friday. Today's Friday, right? At 10.54pm at Bloom Park. Oh boy. During investigations, the main character, Date. Oh boy. <laughs> Inspects scenes and collects testimony. Progress by examining objects and talking to people. Date's position is fixed, but you can move the cursor in your view. Try looking around and moving the cursor to find something that catches your eye and inspect it. When you speak to a person, you'll be presented with options. And look. Use the choice to select the topic of conversation. Look while you observe the person you're speaking to. I'm gonna observe you. Oh, it's fully voiced my ass. I call her boss. She runs Abyss, a special branch of the Metropolitan Police Department. I report directly to her. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. On the case six years ago. The case six years ago? Is that Greg June? For whatever reason, she didn't elaborate. A case six years ago. So, what am I doing here? Are you serious? Your Yo, special up, agent, Tender? How Kaname you doing? Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Why would you bring somebody that I know? What? The rain is awful, huh? It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. You found the body. Metro got a call about two hours ago. 
Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. After finishing discussing a topic with someone, they might have new things to talk about. When talking to people, choose topics that interest you. You might obtain important information or clues. There's a log that allows you to recap any previous conversations. What can you tell me about the victim? Her name's Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Right now she's standing in the rain, pouring rain with her umbrella. How's the investigation coming, Rain, the police guy? Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. What's your name, Inspector? Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask me my name. It's Kagami, sir. Thanks for coming out here in this mess. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Anything to go on? Not yet, sir. Oh no, we can bully him. What's your name? It's Kagami. Inspect the gadgets. What's your name? Kagami. Are you serious? It's Kagami! I already learned his name. I don't need to ask him again. <laughs> Alright. Move cursor. Oh, move sight. Oh, these controls are weird as hell. A horse from the merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. This Inspector is not a gadget. The park was already what the in fuck? The state before the crime. Who My the best fuck? hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Red Barrier Line wraps the scene. In the old days, he used to get yellow caution tape for this. Now we got cheap hologram tech that can do the job even better. Well, sometimes we use good old-fashioned yellow tape. I see some right there. Parasol's getting pe pelted by the rain. The panda ride looks lonely. Is this the control room? A place where the operator sits to turn the ride on and off? Took a look inside, but I didn't see anything that might be a clue. Bodies mounted up on one of the horses. I should get a better look. Take a step forward. Ah, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? We haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. That's Aiba. Her official designation is Albal. She's an artificial intelligence built into my fake eye. An AI for an eye. <laughs> you want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. I am detecting signs of increased stress in your body. Cortisol and ACTH concentration is rising. Don't bug me with jargon right now, alright? I'm just... upset. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. <clears throat> Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. Six hours ago? That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. But we got a call like 30 minutes ago about screaming, right? That means... The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had yes. her left eyeball removed. Her left eye. The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. 
Well, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Jesus. Correct. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Date, use me to see through the column. We have the x-ray mode. Utilize too? the x-ray mode. God damn. We are Inspector Gadget. <sighs> oh no. It appears as though someone is inside. I threw down my umbrella and ran to the pillar. Right past the guy whose name I actually hey, forgot. Shut up! Pushed him aside and ran up on the platform. Hey! I know you're in there! If you can hear me, say something! No reply. Looking close, I found a small handle on the column. Grabbed it hard and tried to pull it open. You won't budge! It may be locked from the inside. Damn it! Hey, whoever's in there, stay back! Yuki. Okay. What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? Thank you. Good explanation. Start with this. I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Iba's hair is freaking Why do you look out. like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but. What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. I'm trying to sort out my situation, but my brain isn't cooperating. It must be because I'm sleeping. There's things that I should know. I can't remember. My head is fuzzy. Not my usual self. It's like I'm inside someone else's head. What a strange feeling. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! This got very animated very quickly. I am not against it. Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnia. Hold on, if I, like, back out, does does it fix? 
Hold on, chat. Two seconds. Her hair is bugging the shit out of me. Uh, we good? We finally back to good? Maybe? I don't know. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest recesses of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? No, or hair Shouldn't is still gotta be wiggity, Don't be so wackity, sure. fucking Appearances in this world shit. can oh be deceiving. God. Stop, calm Let's down. Let's start with the door. Hair, calm. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true. That is gonna but... be a pervy old man. Isn't it? All right, let's do this. Oh boy. Insomnia, you discover a dream and discover the hit subject's hidden memories. All right. WASD does move now. Can actually move around instead of just like being forced to look. All right. Well, to the door then. A door locked with a padlock. It appears all I have to do is open this door. That is. Is that how you open a fucking hmm. door? I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. That doesn't Every make a human lot of dream sense. has its own set yeah, of right. rules. Yo, Gordian Guild Mom, what's up, If friends? you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your Yo, dream. Appreciate it, friend. it is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Dude, her hair is Indeed. freaking the fuck but out. It is difficult oh to predict God. exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. This game is one of my favorites. Yeah, box. it's been recommended Trying to me a whole bunch. So it's kind of like... Problem. It's perfect. Now, I don't have to talk about it. What should I have you do? It's mostly voice. Don't forget that I have a veto. So, it's Pog. And it's for the same people that made Duncan Ropa, and I love Duncan Alright, so this is now tangible, but this is water iris. iris. Oh, winter what? iris. Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. Watch Kathy play through the endings. It's so, so good. Oh, yo, okay. Smell it. Smell it, Dot. Oh, wait, I guess not Dot's mm. Iba. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Enough. Dude, her hair Pardon? needs to calm. Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. Did you put the bucket on her head? I don't think so. <laughs> Amazing suction. Bravo. Marvelous. We literally just started. What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? Yeah, we're gonna you do this. You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. Nah, no, it's okay. So okay, this is progress. There's an achievement for it, I want it. Is there a bucket yet? A 
switch. The thorns are gone. All right. Turn it on. Now I can activate the switch. <coughs> oh my god. All right. That creative light in special areas, I guess. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. There's a joke. Rather be sleeping. So that's progression through part one. Okay. So there's wine. Wait, did I just click out? Yeah, I did. Basket. A basket. I cannot see inside it. Yo, wear the basket. Leave it to me. I am doing what I am told. It is dark. I cannot see anything. I see a dumb AI and a skeleton. A basket. All right, search. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a one-dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than occult. Okay, so this is definitely Date then. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Lift up. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. Got him. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. Alright, well, what happens if I turn it off? It looks like a rose. But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory. But this is not your house. Somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. It's kind of dirty. Shut up. He is a dirty old man. I love it. A lamp. It looks like... Kick it. <laughs> you don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date. Are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? Alright. A skeleton definitely represents Dante. A skeleton? It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. Because it's his left eye, right? There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? The skeleton <coughs> yeah. is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. They should. A skeleton. Punch. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi! Yeah! W what? I have a look. The wall. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? 
Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. What? Okay. I'm assuming that's the secret item they were talking about. Now there's a the gun here. Gun that came out of the skull? Investigating. Why is there a gun in this house? This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who did you hear that from? A gun. It won't go off? It should be fine. And then so I started blasting. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this. Hey look, Shinma got me Don't ten side. Remind you of anyone? No. A door locked with a padlock. Put gun in keyhole. It did have like a weird key Do you key think thing. something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. Wow, I they've suppose. got innuendos for days, Chet. I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. Mm, man, it only gets better. Oh, boy. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it. Her hair is not losing its shit anymore. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a lot of light. Yo, all right. Open the door, get on the floor. Everybody do their dinosaur. <laughs> Day two, Saturday. All right. Damn, I clicked off monitors again. I was good at stuff. Right. Maybe it's not. Is it good? It's not. It's not. Give me back my OBS video game. Thank you. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Good morning, boss. What the fuck is this office? Pumpkin carves like you a jack. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? What do you mean? What if his name is Bill? Sorry, it was funnier in my head. Happy birthday banner decoration. Tadway, welcome, welcome. That birthday party was a while ago, though. Police officer Have mannequin. you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. How much, dude? He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. This is the moment I started to worry about boss's mental health. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh... How do you know all this stuff? I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Yo, yeah, all right. Soccer ball. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. 
boss is a love interest. Must have been an athlete. Interesting. What about the volleyball? Shelves. Fuck you, game. Fishing flag. A flag with big catch on it. Coffee I can't maker. live without coffee. I love it smooth and dark. What is it used by boss's ability to make anything sound dirty? I wonder if she does it on purpose. You think tanuki. it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? What the yeah, fuck I, am I, I playing? No. What the fuck? <laughs> a chair. A computer. It has a monitor built in. Cool. There's a desk. Stickers all over the front. A bookshelf. It's full of files and binders and uh, I don't know. Got books, manga, movies, games, all sorts of stuff. What is she doing here? Soba restaurant curtain. Oh my god, there's so much more. Bags hanging on a rack. Some of the bags are masks, like for costume parties. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one, the smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Like a large it. key. It reminds me of you, Date. My name is Konami. The kanji for key can be read as Konami. But that's not my real name. I don't know my real name. I don't know anything about my past. Myself past six years ago. What? Kevin. Chair. Some more shelves. Wine bottle. Okay, well, it's this way. Yo, there's a lot of shit in here. All right. Dark machine. Why do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War Three starts, we'll have something to do. Good answer. Skis. Are you familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? Uh, yep. They're all my husbands. Uh-huh. Boss is single, by the way. Public bath curtain. A map. Symbols. I use that thing for stress relief sometimes. I know. I can hear it all the way down the hall. Stationary bike. Lifesaver. A plaster figure. That's Christmas been here tree. a while. I mean... Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. Yeah, she's got a point. Police poster. Uh, police poster. Alright, boss. I guess why she talked to you. So you have to clean this place up. Where do you think you are, agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. What about the case six years ago? Hey, remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been in a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... <sighs> Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. Why? So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. Hold on. Questions. We lost our memory six years ago. Right? Is what they said in like the last thing. And then she's saying we can't talk about this case from six years ago. And it's literally not possible. Are we a killer? Did they like mind control us into being the bad guy 
Or the good guy? Boss is kind of sus. The boss is kind of hot. I mean, what? I don't accept that. But no, really. Like, just give it up, Dante. We're missing an eye. Like, mm, I don't know, Chad. All the rug. That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh yeah. How much? Ten billion yen. Jeez. What are you in elementary school? I could keep hammering. I wouldn't it. tell you even if my life depended on it. Because we even were if you murdered. took me to the finest club Yo, in bro, Kabuki Chiro and it. showered me in Dom P, my lips are sealed. But why, boss? Because we're the it's bad guy. It's top secret, classified. It was that bad, huh? If that's how you want to interpret it. Or did they say five years ago? I gotta remember. Uh, can I see? What was this Iba? No. I'm sure they'll bring it up again. Six years, though. Remember that. Give chat. it a rest, Date. You keep prying into this, and I'll hit you with a sexual harassment complaint. This isn't harassment or sexual. <laughs> I can make it sexual. It appears you wouldn't have an issue with that. I can detect your thoughts, remember. Fear <laughs> it, <laughs> <laughs> Iba. <laughs> God Just damn it, dude. promise me you'll let this go, okay? It's a delicate issue, even more delicate than my patience. So drop it. That's an order. Understood? Definitely not gonna give me out, so whatever. She'd be surprisingly stubborn sometimes. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss, the commander of Abyss Metropolitan Police Department. I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. I suffer from a memory disorder. I don't remember anything past six years ago. And there was a crime six... Yo, chat, alright. Alright. Here's my theory. Here's my theory. And I'm already gonna... I'm already going deep on the theory scape in here, alright? There's a copycat killer six years ago, and we conveniently don't remember anything, and we have one eye missing. All right, I'm calling it. We're we're a killer from like six years ago, and they like mind control us or something. I don't know. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? I'm probably way off base. Because but... if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, huh. so nothing to report then. Got it. Any leads at all? I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? Yeah, there should be like blood and stuff on that, right? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. All right. The pick Mizuki was holding. Fingerprints. The only prints on it are hers. Damn it. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. That's a weird choice. Nadami, no one they us. 36 years old. Female. Residence. Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. 
I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. I took Shoko's picture and put it in my pocket. Alright, oh, Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. Mizuki Okira, the girl we found at the merry-go-round. She's 12 years old in the sixth grade. Certain circumstances brought us to live together, but we aren't blood-related. Sort of like a straight cat that found her way into my home. In any case, we're not going to get anything oh, okay, from her. Okay, so she's lived with us beforehand. What about Renju? Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just... Standard procedure stuff. Alright. Renju is Shoko's ex husband of Azuki's father. Not to mention an old friend of mine. I wonder what, what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. Alright. Random questions. How did we call him with that cell phone? Did we just use like a payphone or something? Or did we have like a home phone? No one was able to get a hold of him until this Possible morning. Phone, maybe. We explained the situation to him, had him verify Shoko's corpse, and naturally started asking him questions. Did we ever identify who called him? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. You should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? They do exist. That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. <clears throat> Alright, I was losing it. That's really gross. Hello. No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Yeah, but now we gotta go no, like clean you before still. you put it back in your eye. Or in your eye socket, I guess. What about I? I've been thinking a lot lately. About myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. Is he talking about Iva, or is he talking about how he's definitely a murderer? Chat, hey, my theory so on this is like solely your part of soul. Die. Now's not the time to talk about that. But he's like the killer from six years ago. That's... Uh, I'm already guessing this pretty hard. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get okay. Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your I'm, idea, I'm though? I'm having fun with already, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Who's Pewter? Hey, what does love mean to you? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. Huh. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. She got us. She got us, Chad. 
Who are you? Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. Five years, not six years? So she wouldn't know if we've been, like, indoctrinated? This is, like... I don't know, I might be so wrong about this, but I'm living off of the Snapchat. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. No, you don't. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Nope, not cute at all. Back inside. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. <laughs> Sassy little shit. I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? It's been five years since we first met. When they got called in the control room, Peter, the engineer, showed it to me. The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. And, and our personal jail keeper. Chat, I, like, it's so out there, and especially knowing how Danganronpa was, like, I feel like my theory might actually be right. It's feeling less crazy as time goes on. Maybe it's just because I'm sick, but... I'm calling it. I'm calling it. He was the killer from six years ago, which is why she was so adamant that there couldn't be another copycat. Or the ending would have to be a copycat. Like, yup, yup. She gathers info and runs analysis. And then they put Iba in us to make sure that we don't go crazy again. She can also access wireless networks and hack another computers. While she's my contact eye socket, we communicate through an artificial nerve to my brain. Let's just talk without actually speaking. Oh god, it hurts so bad to talk. Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? Who reported the crime, Iva? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Oh, you can go to maps. But I'm still looking at Iba. Alright, we're going to the diner. Chat, why is he driving on the wrong side of the road? <laughs> I got jokes today, Chad. Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. 
I'm with the MPD. I flashed oh, my badge. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. Does her shirt say hipster? She hurried out of the kitchen. And you're Ota's... His mother. And your yeah. name, ma'am? Oh, Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita. Uh, Miss Matsushita, Before why are you we wielding talk, a knife? Could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, goodness. Sorry, sorry. Chat, I already love her. She put the knife down on the table beside her. Cool, this is where I can look, look around and save stuff, right? Yeah, I can make I can make a hard save, and that's probably a good idea, chat. Um, because this is my poorly phrased ending transition. Uh, I've been talking for like an hour. I thought I was going to be talking less of this game, but I'm dying. Um, so expect VOD stuff up soon. <laughs>